Manga spoilers, by the way. On a bright day, as the city seems to be calm, we see Sakamoto's wife, Aoi, watching over the shop. As she's doing so, she gets a call from Sakamoto, telling her about how Shin's okay. As she's glad about the good news, she tells Sakamoto about how there hasn't been any customers yet as of recent, but she'll be alright. As she's about to hang up the phone, she sees that a customer has entered the store. And as she tells Sakamoto this, she hangs up the phone to greet the customer. But little does poor Aoi know that this customer happens to be one of the four death row convicts by the name of Minimalist. As she asks him if she can help him with anything, we see Sakamoto at the other end of the phone with his plain old expression on. As this giant asks for the whereabouts of our made man Sakamoto, Aoi replies with that he's out and that he went to go see the holistic healer. As this convict assumes that she's lying, he tells her not to hide Sakamoto from him and that he hates being lied to. As Aoi agrees that she also hates being lied to, Minimalist tells her that she isn't understanding the situation at bay. As he grabs the cash register, he crushes it effortlessly. As it's now in the shape of a tiny ball, Aoi stands there, unfazed, with her only question being about what happened to the money inside of it. Minimalist then pushes the crushed cash register aside and splits the cash register stand in two. As he greets her again, as he gets closer to her, he then starts to choke her as he asks if she understands the situation now, asking again for the whereabouts of Sakamoto. And if she's hiding Sakamoto from him, he'll crush her into a tiny ball as well. Minimalist tells her to cooperate, but in that moment, she pushes his arm up, grabs him by his dreads, and stabs him with a knife. As we see a confused Minimalist on the ground as he asks, how? We see Aoi stand there staring at him, coldly. We then see the transformation start to wear off, revealing to us and to Minimalist that this person isn't the real Aoi, and it happens to be none other than the smiling assassin himself, Nagumo. Nagumo then says in realization that the reason why he's not dead is because he still has his toy knife on him. Minimalist then recognizes Nagumo to be the S rank guy on the kill list. As he tells Nagumo to die, as he says again that he hates liars, Nagumo goes right beside him, saying that that's not gonna happen, claiming that he's minding the store right now for Sakamoto, and that when a friend asks him for a favor, who is he to refuse? As the smiling assassin and the death row convict stand off, we see Minimalist try to flex his body count, saying how he's off at least 432 people, and that his boredom was unsatisfied, asking Nagumo if he'll satisfy him. Nagumo then laughs, questioning the fact that he counts his bodies, saying that he doesn't look like the conscious type at all. Minimalist then gets pissed and tries to attack Nagumo, knocking things off the shelves. As Nagumo manages to dodge the attack, we see him on top of one of the shelves, telling Minimalist not to make too much of a mess, saying that he'll get scolded by Sakamoto later. Minimalist is confused as he turns around, questioning what Nagumo is doing up there. But Nagumo then cuts him off, saying that he's just borrowing his phone, stating that he left himself wide open. As he's about to check Minimalist's browsing history, Minimalist then throws a whole shelf at Nagumo, yelling at him to give it back. Nagumo then hops out the way effortlessly, questioning if he's uptight about privacy or something. As Minimalist tells him to quit jumping around, he then grabs a part of a shelf, crushes it into little balls, and throws it at Nagumo. But after he stops attacking, we see that he's disappeared as he's made quite a mess. While Minimalist tries to search for the smiling assassin, we see him saying that since his bag is here, he has to be hiding somewhere. As Minimalist goes around checking the store, and he ends up opening the fridge, shouting out to Nagumo about how he wanted to fight him, telling him to come out referring to him as a coward, we then see the reflection of Minimalist from the fridge door smiling right at him. The reflection then sticks his arm out and starts to choke the real Minimalist, as Nagumo reverts back to his original form while choking Minimalist, saying, it's me. Minimalist questions how Nagumo is so strong yet so scrawny. Nagumo then goes in Minimalist's pockets, and as he finds some gum, car keys, and the hit list, he sees that he has no useful info on him, and as he throws him to the side, he opens his bag, saying that since he's such a nice guy, he'll let him choose how he wants to die, as he holds out a quite unique weapon, asking him what'll it be. Nagumo then says how his weapon has six functions, 
and that it's a handy tool. As he tells Minimalist to pick a number between 1 and 6, Minimalist then gets pissed, claiming that he'll crunch Nagumo into a tiny ball. While he tries to punch him, Nagumo dodges it, and as he sees that Minimalist won't choose a number, he decides to take matters into his own hands as he pulls out a dice saying that they'll let it decide for them. As he turns his hands inwards and then quickly turns them outwards, showing us and Minimalist his open hands with no dice in sight, asking him where'd it go? We see Minimalist turn his head slightly as he starts to feel something in his mouth, and as he sticks out his tongue, revealing that the dice was in his mouth, Nagumo then says, it's a 3, and right in that moment, he appears above Minimalist as he says, how unlucky, as he proceeds to decapitate him. With his head sent flying, we then see Nagumo with a can telling Minimalist how his weapon also doubles as a can opener at parties, but then he remembers that Minimalist can't hear him cause you know what he did. As Nagumo sits there on the counter eating whatever is in that can, he then says that Sakamoto is going to kill him due to the mess that he made in the store today. Hey guys, Dark Hero Josh here, and if you enjoyed this Sakamoto Day video, then please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below if you like the video, or if you want me to do more Sakamoto moment videos like this one on the channel in the near future. And with that, without further ado, I hope you guys have a great day, and see ya.